Happy guinea pig! Hi, I'm Aline. Welcome to my kitchen. Yeah. And today I'm going to be doing a casserole. It's called Spam Bake. I have never heard of this before, have never tried this before, but I found the recipe and uh, it sounded good. Now, I don't have my tater tots out of the freezer, Piggy. I knew I was missing something. Yeah. It, it, it wouldn't be my video if I hadn't forgotten something or made a mess about something. I would it? Okay. The ingredients that this recipe calls for. One can, large can, of Spam diced up. One large onion diced. One can of cream of mushroom soup, any brand. And some tater tots, tater puffs, whatever you want to call them, any brand. And it calls for about a pound of tater tots. Shredded and shaped uh, taters. That's it. Now, I am adding some shredded Monterey Jack cheese to mine because to me, a casserole with tater tots ain't a casserole unless you got cheese on it. Now, like I said, the recipe doesn't call well, for cheese. It's but, cheese. I mean, come on. And But I'm doing cheese. So, now, what I have to do, it says to uh, cook your... Spam and your onions in a skillet until brown. And that be, I guess, until the spam is brown. So I'm going to go over to the cooktop, cook my spam and my onions, and uh, show oh, you what I'm doing with that. We pull that whole thing over, and that way you can just put it all together and then come over here and put it in. That's probably what I'll wind up doing. But I just wanted to let you know what's going on with that. And then once we get this cooked, we'll pour it into a baking dish, top it with the soup, Put some cheese on it, put some tater tots on it, throw this sucker in an oven for 350 degrees for 30 to 45 minutes. So, we'll see you back over the stove top. All right. Okay, I've got my cooktop on. And it is a cooktop, not a stove top, y'all. Have a little bit of oil here. And I'm just going to put a little bit in there. And I'm going to let that get good and hot before I add my onion and my spam. That's going to be on your pan and about you here down and some of this right here. That's fine. I don't have a problem with that. And while I'm waiting on that to uh, heat up, yeah, I want to tell you about uh, hashtag Noodle November 2022. This is a collaboration that is being hosted by Tony at Kettle Kitchen. And uh, there are about 60 different channels participating in this collaboration. There is a playlist on my community tab. You can check it out. There's also a list of all the channels that uh, have signed up to be in this collaboration. Now, this isn't a video for that. I'm just giving it a, a shout out. But uh, there is going to be she, a... She just spreading the word. Spreading the word. There is a live drawing on December the 1st on Kettle Kitchen at 4 p.m. Pacific Time. That would be uh, 5 p.m. Mountain, 6 p.m. Central, and 7 p.m. Eastern. Again, December the 1st is a live giveaway. Uh, and what you do to be entered into the giveaway is you watch the videos, leave a comment, and I believe Tony uh, said I was right when I said that if you share out the videos and you do the hashtag uh, Noodle November 2022, that also gives you uh, a chance in the giveaway drawing. So, uh, again, you know, go check out these videos. There are some awesome videos. There really are. I've watched all of them that's been put up so far. And uh, I have to say, some of them are homemade noodles. Some of them are... I should say homemade pasta, and some of them are store-bought pastas, and some of them are a different type of pasta, like a vegetable pasta. I know one has done a uh, spaghetti squash video and used the spaghetti squash as their pasta and noodles. So, um, I would highly encourage anybody and everybody to check those out. And again, that is called Hashtag Noodle November. By Tony at Kettle Kitchen, and uh, just everybody. That all I can tell you is to uh, to check them out. You might find a channel that you've never heard of. You might find a recipe that you really like. 
And I have to say, I watched one this morning from, uh, I believe it was uh, Nine Acre Farm Family. And theirs was uh, doing beef and noodles. And it looked really good. It was one of those crock pot dishes that you could do overnight. And it, like I said, it looked good. But I put my onions in the skillet now. And I'm putting my spam in there. And again, that's one large can of spam. That was the actual spam and not the generic kind. So I'm assuming if you would like to use the generic lunch meat, that's entirely up to you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this cook down for just a little bit. And once the spam starts browning, I will be back and we'll show you what we're going to do from there. So we're going to take a pause until that starts browning. Uh, I'm going to pour this in here. It's not overtly brown, but there it is browned, and I didn't want it to burn. Well, it's spam. It ain't going to look brown. It's going to look at that little light beige like it is, but you know it's cooked. Yeah. It's The onions are done, and I didn't want the onions to burn either, y'all. They ain't nothing worse than a charcoal on you. <laughs> right. Well, I can name some things that are worse, but I get you. Yeah. Okay. I've got the soup. And I'm going to take and use a little spatula thing in here. Wop it out. Now I'm putting this in a I think this is my 11 by 13 pan. I'll figure it out when I go to put it in the oven. And yes, I'm trying to scrape all that soup out of there. Sometimes this stuff will pour out and you won't have to worry about it. And then sometimes it just kind of glops. Okay. I think you're going to measure it for me. Well, that showed about eight and a half. So it's kind of, this, this is the nine by 13. About 13 and three quarters. Yeah. Or eight by 11, whatever you Or, or 12 if you don't count the handles. So this is what they call a nine by 13. This is the one I use the majority of the time anyway. Bake cakes. Or you done with that? I am done with that. All right. <laughs> And I'm done with that. All right, now I'm putting the cheese on there, y'all, because I like cheese. It doesn't have to have the cheese. You can do it without it. What you do with the lid of this? I threw it away because it was clean. Yeah, it didn't have nothing on it. Yeah, well, I'm not a puppy dog or a kitty cat, or am I? Am I? Nope. All right, there. Now, speaking of puppy dogs and kitty cats, y'all think I'm funny. You use one of them TikTok filters. It's supposed to tell you whether you, your pet is a familiar or not. I put it on Charlie, our puppy dog. It said he was a kitty cat. I said, well, they're about right because he acts like a cat most times. He don't really. He don't think he's a dog. He thinks he's a cat. He acts like a cat when it is advantageous to him, and he acts like what he is the epitome of a lap dog when it's advantageous for him. Yeah. And I'm gonna put about a pound of tater pots on here and see what I'm doing. Just kind of tater it up. Yeah. I'm just stre uh, spreading them out, uh, putting them on here. 
And I'll bake this in the oven for about 40 minutes, I guess. It says 35 or 30 to 45 minutes. But bake it really until the tater tots are done and a nice uh, dark golden brown. You'll know it's done. Tater tots are nice and done, the rest of it done. That's it, because, well, the spam's already cooked. Basically, just heating up the cheese, or, or heating up the soup, melting the cheese, and cooking the tater tots. That's all it is. Okay. And I knew it wouldn't take that whole bag, because I didn't use half the bag when I cooked that in it. I'll give this to Peggy to put in the freezer for me over there. I'm using my apron to wipe my hand. I got to sit and wash it anyway. And then... Give me a I'm, second. Okay. I'm going to take this and put it over here in my oven. But Piggy's got to get the... Da -da 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 da 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 how about 39 and 12? That'll work. That'll be some almost 40 minutes. So we'll see you back when that goes off. All right, y'all, we're back. And it's out of the oven. I didn't let it get too brown, but the tater tots are done. The cheese is melted. So we're going to cut into this and see how it goes. And let it set for just a little bit. That tater top fell off there, y'all. That's okay. That's all right. We'll still get that sucker. It'll get eat. I'm going to put this in on this right here real quick. Oh, yeah. It's going to fall apart, but you know what? That's Each the way time. It, <laughs> if it didn't fall apart, I wouldn't think it was something I made, to be honest with you. It, it'll taste just as good fell apart as if it was cold and sturdy. Yep. At least this way it's hot. You can wait for it to get cooled off and, and, and solidify a little bit so you make it look nice and pretty. But, you know, then you'd have to nuke it in the microwave I'm to get it hot again. I'm just going to leave it like it is. It keeps falling. I'm going to put that there and let Piggy get me a picture of that for my thumbnail. I don't got you a couple. Okay. You, you look at them see what you think. Okay. Hey. 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 Put that there. There's Piggy's door. Hey. He always ask him, where's his fork? Well, there's his fork, y'all. I can still say it. I can have my, I can have it in my hand and still say it. Oh, yeah. Where's my fork? Poach, your fork is in the drawer, by the way. <laughs> oh, wow. Piggy done tore in and said it good. Boy, I didn't get a bite. Yeah, I had it in there and it sat for a second and a while. I would. Now you know why I said, oh wow. Mm -hmm. I'm saying, oh wow. Whether or not you like spam, really ought to give this a try. This is good stuff. Mm. I have always heard it said. Mm. Don't knock it till you've tried it. Well, and you think about it, this right here would actually fit, probably feed a family of four to six people with a little side of some kind. So you have one can of Spam, a can of soup, an onion, some tater tots, and you got a meal. If you add the cheese, it makes it even better. But not a lot of places can you go and, and have a can of Spam feed a whole family. Because if you try to make sandwiches out of it, it ain't going to work that way. Like, but this would be a good way to help it, help it feed a whole family. To stretch it to make it feed a whole family. That'd be a, that'd be a good supper for a family of three or four. I'd say four to six, especially if you have you know, little kids. Little kids, yeah. Four to six. So, yeah, this is a great recipe. And, and, and like I was telling her the other day, something I heard on a show. It was MASH, by the way. The one where Hawkeye saved that one big old Marine's life. And he was 
walking around trying to take care of Hawkeye for having took care of him. And he, Hawkeye was going in to chow hall to eat, and there wasn't no place to sit. And that boy, he put his head between these two other boys' heads and put his big old hands on their shoulders and said, you know, Mama always told me it's best to leave the table a little bit hungry. They got up and left so Hawkeye could have a seat. But there's some truth to that. Mm-hmm. You know, you sit there and you stuff yourself and stuff yourself to, you know, to the point, you know, you don't feel like doing that. Well, guess what? You ain't going to do nothing. That's it. Because you're too stuffed and sitting there. Uh, oh, I can't believe I ate the whole thing. Yeah, well. Don't hurt to save a little bit for later. Yeah, right. Especially, you know, especially if you know if you have any romantic inclinations for later on. <laughs> yeah, if you're still young enough to be like that. You know, you see, you, you might have had some romantic inclinations for later on, but you got to get around that stuff good. You ain't gonna feel like it, and then you both gonna be disappointed. <laughs> oh man. Well, y'all, I thank you for watching my video. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Click on that bell icon and click on all. And you'll be notified every time I upload a video. I upload on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Go live on Saturdays at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. And occasionally put out a Sunday snippet. So, again, thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all. Where's my phone?